Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Happy birthday to those who uh, celebrate today. Today is 2 two so okay Aquarius wow um I'm gonna put this back in the deck only because it came out um reversed when I picked it up off the floor so if it comes out again then it's meant to be here if it doesn't but you have the star at the bottom of the deck so some of you are showing up right in your element you're showing up as yourself releasing old baggage maybe even having a reunion with friends family uh romantic partners um, you're, you're getting a lot of eyes on you also with the star here. You could be doing something that is uh, major or, or you have a major platform or people are looking up to you or looking forward to maybe your post or whatever it is you do. Um, you could also be doing something in terms of uh, maybe astrology, learning about astrology, about the stars, about astronomy also. Some of you have really gotten your chakras in alignment or you're working to get your chakra your chakras in alignment so um that you can forgive and you can be in a very um healing place for yourself this is also self-acceptance like some of you are really coming into accepting who you are you know totally completely from the most you know mundane thing to the most complex uh aspect of yourself so it's like you're not really fighting against your nature or you're not really fighting against uh who you are or what you have to offer or your personality it's more so you leaning into it this birthday season some of you could be having you could have like large crowds around you you could have a large birthday party you could be getting a lot of um communication again uh i heard virtually um, electronically, uh, again, large groups of people are being, you know, brought up to the forefront here. Some of you have come into really being more compassionate with yourself, um, not so hard on yourself or with yourself. Uh, you're in a forgiving place and so you're in a better place. Okay. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius in love. All right. Let's see what's going on for the Aquarius in love. All right. What do the cards? Okay, we got two cards coming up. The Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups. We got some good cards in terms of love. Okay, and what else do we have here? Let's see. Last card for Aquarius in love. Or this might, I might want it to be only two cards. So, okay, wow. This one to flip out so we've got the empress the ace of pentacles the two of pentacles all right so somebody's trying to show you that they changed somebody wants a new start with you they want to make you fall in love with them again or this is what is happening has happened this is um someone's wish someone's looking for the opportunity somebody look they know that it's going to be a challenge maybe somebody knows that you have a lot of options or that you're very magnetic you people are attracted to you there's a certain level of charisma that you have about yourself Again, something about it being a challenge or somebody wanting to do something with you rather quickly um, to make you fall in love with them again. Somebody's being real sweet, real nice, saying the nice things, maybe even inviting you out. There's an invitation here uh, to start something new. Okay, start the relationship. I'm hearing again, or maybe this will be a new relation. I don't feel like this, it could be new. You know, only you know your situation here. The Ace of Pentacles, somebody really wants to solidify the relationship by way of sex. So, somebody feel like, feels as if they understand that they're going to have to put 110% behind this thing. I do like that there is, it goes from the Ace of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. So somebody's going to work real hard in showing you or um, acting as if they have changed. But somebody's going to do the, the acts to show you they're going to put their words to action you know so act 
Um, they're going to act in a manner where they show you that something is, has changed about them. The two of pentacles talks about change. Something is different. Their actions could be different towards you. This person fantasizes about you, about, com about coming back to you. They feel like... Um, even though you guys will have this new start, it's something up in the air. Either they're they're watching what you're doing and how you're going to act or react in this relationship, or this is what you're doing. So you, you've got a new start maybe with an old person. Could be new, only you know your life. You've got a lot of, you know, a lot of abundance with you also. Um, you could be very fertile, beauty. You're doing a lot of beauty regimens. Uh, radiant there's a level of opulence opulence with you sophistication some of you could be in the beauty and fashion uh, field some of you could be singers you know or you have some type of talent that you you possess some of you somebody just wants to start this connection over they really do they really fantasize about this they really think about it um, we're going to come back to this. Well, you know, let's go here now. Let's see. Um, let's see what the karmic deck has to say. It is karmic. Let's see. Um, maybe you guys have cleared karmic debt in terms of this person, or you're trying to, or you're trying to just start something up again. Somebody knows it's going to take a lot here. Um, Make sure that progression happens. So I like that Ace of Pentacles and that Two of Pentacles coming out together. Because it looks like somebody's really trying. And that's all you really can do in life is try, right? Uh, yeah, somebody views you as seductive. Okay, Aquarius. Um, they see that about you. Wow, they view you as sweet. So your name could start with an S. Their name could start with an S. I don't know. Um, this is good energy. It's like somebody is seeing a different side of you or you're seeing a different side of someone or, you know, you guys coming back together is helping, um, heal the connection. Yeah. Somebody felt as if maybe you were unfair or they were unfair to you. You're very soft. Okay. Resourceful, uh, kind. Yes. And then this separation they realize what they had. Maybe even your value with the Empress coming out. Maybe that they didn't value you. They didn't put you first. They didn't give you the title. Maybe they got comfortable or they are comfortable with you. Um, in separation, they realize that you're kind um, and that they're comfortable with you, that they treated you unfair or something was unfair here. So let's see what's going on for career and finance for the Aquarius. It looks like love is going to be real sweet for you, um, especially around your birthday season. Um, it looks like you're going to get what you want. You know, if you want this, you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I mean, anybody here. It looks like we got all signs there. Um, so don't get too hung up on that. But. Um, it just looks as if somebody is really recognizing your worth and they want to resurface. Now, if this is somebody you don't want back, then you'll have to take them back. And you guys are still in separation because you don't want them back. So, you know, I guess it doesn't, you know, um, it really doesn't make you any difference here. You're just like, okay, well, I'm happy that they recognize my worth now, but I don't want them back. So that's okay. But there is someone who is uh, wanting to start this relationship again. It looks like Aquarius, for some of you, you want to start it also. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius in career and finance. Career and finance for the Aquarius. Career, finance. Okay, so this one to flip out in reverse. Maybe you feel like something is unfair with the justice in reverse. So you feel like you're not getting justice. You're not getting the judgment. You're not getting the apology. You're not getting the payout. You're not getting repaid. Um, the debt or, or you, some of you could be coming out of debt also. Okay, some of you could be coming out of debt in career and finance or working very hard to come out of debt. 
there hasn't been some judgment render or justice or, or some final say in something. It's like you're waiting, waiting for a large sum of money, the 10 of pentacles, waiting for abundance, waiting for this windfall, waiting to marry into money, waiting to, to be able to, you know, have some, make some long-term goal true. Yeah, it's like you're, and this thing has you all tied up in knots about this, especially if some of you are waiting for payouts, waiting for money, you need it. You're in a place of, oh, uh, so you would be the taker, you know, this could be waiting for a loan, waiting for money to balance out, to come into some type of harmony, waiting for paperwork with the three of pentacles, waiting to be more abundant. This, you feel like with this money, if, when this money comes in, you're, you, wow, this is nothing about, this is all about money. You feel like when this money comes in Aquarius, uh, 10 of pentacles and the temperance card, you feel like you can get your life in order. Then right now you feel like it's out of order. Okay. Out of order. Cause the justice card is about order. So you feel like all because you're waiting and this thing has you all tied up in knots, things are out of order. You want abundance nine of pentacles you want to start your own business you want to nurture something you want to be in a wilderness or you you want to grow something or you want to do something with animals with the nine of pentacles here you want to just be free to be you with the star card yeah these cards are old uh with the star card here yeah it's just like you you can release you can have a wow you can go into a place of rest with the four of swords once you can even move you can get out of this lower vibration, maybe around lower vibrational people, or you're in a place of lack, um, despondency with the eight of cups, maybe even overindulging in other things because your emotions are out of whack. You feel like you can get more routine, more of a regimen happening for yourself once you get this money. Wow, you go, <laughs> Aquarius, you just feel so many different things. You're gonna feel like, I could have emotional balance. I could be happy again. I can have a, a little piece of my own luxury, whatever I define that as. You feel like just life will be so different once this money comes in, once this payout, once this large sum of money shows up in your life. Let's see what the karmic deck has, has to say about career and finance. What do... What does the karmic deck ha has to say about career and finance? What does the karmic deck? You feel like you could embark on a good, good idea when you get money or when you get to a place of stability. Yeah, a fast thinker. Um, maybe you feel like uh, you'll be able to start something quickly, um, or you have already you've already got your plans in place. How will it be when Aquarius gets this money? What about this money? Um, so when you get this money, you feel like maybe um, you could be getting money back from somebody who tried to con you or fraud you or who was a liar. You feel like um, maybe the money will be coming from that. Um, also, you feel some of you had to go up against somebody who did defraud you or is lying. Um, it seems as if maybe you'll you'll be able to save either a relationship. This could also be about home or business. Like you can save your business once you get money. You can save your home. What else is going on here? Yeah, you feel like you can be strong again and maybe even more feminine or you can partake in some feminine, you know, uh, your feminine qualities or you can do feminine things, whatever that may defi be defined as, you know, you just feel like you could be in an energy of abundance, rest, creation, you know, being creative, out outgoing, uh, nurturing, uh, giving. Those are uh, characteristics of femininity. So you feel like you can be that once you you get to a place of financial security. You feel like you can be more understanding. Maybe you feel like you, you'll be able to get away from some loud mouth. 
a few more and we'll close this out. What's going on? Okay. This one to come out. You know, this sex with my friend. Maybe you feel like you'll be able to get out of the friend zone once you get this money. You'll have money. This person will, they'll want you. Sex with my friend or friends. Okay. Maybe you'll feel more desirable, you know, once you get money. Uh, or you'll, you'll feel as if people look at you. Yeah, friends with benefits. Um, I don't know if, you, if when, once you get more stable or you get on your life path, maybe you feel like you're going to ghost somebody or put them in the friend zone or just make it friends with benefits. You can leave them. Maybe you don't need them anymore or um, the relationship will transition in some way. Bother. Okay. You won't be bothered. Yeah. So and someone will be bothered by you getting this money. A lot of people will be bothered. Some people might want to come out of the friend zone. Okay. The friends with benefits because you getting all this money is going to bother them. They don't see how abundant you are. Okay. And how they took you for granted, how they took the relationship for granted. Um, some, some people may come unwired. Like they may just, uh, yeah, they might start some type of theatrics. It's all out of jealousy. Once you get to a place, yeah, they may start texting you. Yeah, it's just, it just seems as if maybe this person, um, yeah, they'll, they'll try to come and say that they love you. But when you were broke, they were not there for you or when you were broken or when you were just at a place of, in a place of need, they weren't there for you. Uh, they let you get comfortable in your place of unrest. They didn't make any moves to, towards you. Okay. And again, uh, once you, once this person sees you don't need them financially, you're doing well, maybe even you married into money for some of you, they are going to you lose their shit. You know, it's going to be, you're going to be an absolute live wire because they understand like somebody is seeing all of the good attributes and uh traits of you aquarius and someone has decided to make that serious with you especially in love and then also you're getting this abundance that comes in um and this other person is going to just be upset you know because they didn't get an uh, opportunity to do this with you or to mess it up for you is what I heard. Some of these people just want to mess it up for you. They don't even want you back in terms of like wanting you for real and offering you this stuff. They just want the opportunity to mess whatever good you have going up and whatever it is you have good going for you in your life. They want to mess it up. They want to come in, play the game with you, make you fall in love with them and maybe even leave, ghost you or just kind of fade to black on you. Just like, or, you know, um, just move on, you know? And, um, mess mess up your other options and have you all you know frazzled about them let's see if we have a timeline it looks like aquarius is waiting for either a large sum of money or the aquarius is waiting for something to mature um waiting for a payout uh waiting for maybe the business to turn profit maybe even get married into money let's see if we can get a timeline so for whatever you're waiting for all right, so we got the Six of Swords and the Lovers. So we've got the Swords talk about days, six days. Maybe you'll get some type of answer to move on. Get the Ten of Pentacles showing up again, maybe about this money. And then the Lovers talks about contract. So maybe you'll get some contract in six days, okay? Um, about this large sum of money. Maybe you'll get a contract that will yield you this large sum of money to move on, to do something. Maybe with a, yeah, look, it takes you from the five of pentacles to the t 10 of pentacles, maybe to even work for a large corporation or with or partner with. It takes you out of, of a place of lack and not having and maybe having a lot of debts to repay and not knowing how you're going to pay them. Maybe even getting a new home. Um, this could be a business venture that could be profitable. It says Aquarius, hold on, just hold on. Don't give up before the miracle actually happens. There is a high level of luck associated 
with you at this time luck and fertility good news about money matters is coming in to you what you've been waiting for it's going to be heartbreaking to you, you you're going to have to decide you might have to cut something out you're going to you're divided in, in your heart about what to do maybe this could be leave a job go to another one leave a job start your own business you know i don't know something like that because then you have the ace of pentacles showing up again whatever this is it takes you to a level of rest okay and clarity Woo. rest and clarity like your mind is clear you can yeah this money comes out this looks good aquarius so we've got in terms of the timeline um six days six is coming out because the lovers are six and the six of swords so um it's going to be different for everybody but you know it's fun to at least know you can kind of anticipate if you would like to you know win you know um the ace of cups talks about one to 11 days it's a yes answer yeah so this is really good aquarius um love looks great just continuously show up as you understand your shortcomings and understand all that you bring to the table understand your strengths and your weakness continue to work on your weakness move forward it looks like you want to be abundant you're going to get love and money of course timelines are different for each and every person um somebody is seeing you in a different light they're seeing that they treated you unfair they're seeing you as highly seductive they want you back um do know that when you come into this being with someone else you know or be getting your person okay and you, you get money or you get a career that brings you uh, a certain level of uh, security there are going to be people who are bothered and they're going to turn into a live wire you know those who are in the background and they're quiet now they're gonna get real um they get real loud especially they get real live when they see you in all of your splendor um and, and it, it won't even be anything that you're trying to um boast about or parade around but these people are watching you so they're going to see it you know and all of the hate yeah, all of the hatred will come. It'll come out and um, there'll also be some people who try to befriend you again or yeah, befriend you again or maybe even come back into reunion with you if they're, if they're uh, family members. I don't know what to do about that. I heard keep your um, enemies close. Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies even closer. You're coming out of some curse, maybe some 10-year curse here for some of you that it was just so tough. Every every day was a struggle. If not every day, you had your ups and downs. Your fortune is changing. There will be cause to celebrate. Somebody wants to marry you. They're waiting. I remember they're waiting for they're waiting for that two of pentacles. They're waiting for something to change. They're trying to see if you've changed or if the dynamic of the relationship has changed. But they want to marry you. Okay. All right. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Thank you for being here. I hope that it resonates with all of you because this is a great reading. If you want to get your own personal reading, you can go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Come for the collective reading. All right. Or, and ask a question at the live. All right. So thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.